What's up? It's your boy LP and I am back here with you. Listen, do y'all remember back in the day? I know you don't, but back in the day, before they had Spotify, before they had Apple Music, before they had all the streaming sites where we would listen to our music, before they had that, we had radio stations and we had DJs. Now, oh, do y'all, do you know what a radio is? Yeah, have you ever seen a radio? <laughs> Back in my day, we used to listen to the radio and we used to have, you know, I, I can remember I used to have my little radio and we used to listen and the radio DJ, he would do his thing, man, and we would listen to all the latest music, man, and I'm telling you, that was the time. I had my little cassette tapes and I used to record what came on the radio and I'm telling you, man, that joint was dope. But what the radio station DJ would do, he would give the people an opportunity to call in. And when they would call in, they would do something called shout outs. You know, the people would call in and say, I want to give a special shout out to my home girl. And I want to give a shout out to my homeboy and, and my mama and them. And, you know what I'm saying? They would do that on the radio. And so that was real dope. But see, like, now the only time you see shouts out is whenever, you know, you're on social media and somebody tag your name in a post and you, you know tag your friends and your family and we give people shouts out like that you know what i'm saying and so like people in, in, in this time right now people don't understand how important it is to get shout outs because when we get shout outs i mean it makes us feel like we're cared for like people are thinking about us and and and, and, and it just makes us feel good and again man with this time that we in right now we need that because when we get shout outs what we are able to experience is something called gratitude gratitude is an idea close to God's heart that's why we're taking the month of November the entire month to discover more about gratitude now gratitude is letting others know you see how they've helped you now one thing about 2020 and what it has taught me is that we cannot do life on our own we need people who have our back we need people who encourage us when we feel down we need people to love us no matter what this month's memory verse is psalms 136 1. give thanks to the lord because he is good his faithful love continues forever now do you know what forever mean forever forever ever forever ever it's like forever that's what forever mean like forever <laughs> now as we spend this month having our attitude of gratitude we want you to remember this bottom line now let's get ready for praise and worship and a great Bible lesson about gratitude. Let's get it.
Here we, here we go, verse two. I'm grateful for the way you've been a friend to me. Sing. Six books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 6. Verses 12 through 22. After many years of war and uncertainty, David had finally become the king of Israel. But something was still missing from the royal city of Jerusalem. The Ark of the Lord belongs here. The Ark was a wooden chest that in some special way carried the presence of God among the Israelites. It had been stolen by the Philistines and then returned, and now it was sitting in the home of a man named Obed-Edom. We'll set up a tent right here for the Ark. Let's go get it. David's wife, Michelle, was, um, let's just say, less than enthusiastic. The dust on those back roads takes the curl out of my hair. So David gathered up all his best soldiers and marched over to the place where the ark rested. This is a wonderful day, an incredible day, an absolutely fantastic day. With great care, the men lifted the heavy ark with carrying poles. Wonderful, excellent, let's go. That's one step closer to Jerusalem. Two, three. Are you seriously gonna count the whole way? Wait, stop. We've only come six steps. That's okay, we need to thank God for everything he's done. Right then and there, David sacrificed a bull and a calf to honor God. Okay, now we can move on. One, two, three, lift. Just walking isn't enough. We should dance for God. The ark's kind of heavy. Everyone else, if you're not carrying the ark, celebrate, sing, shout, blow the trumpets. The people shouted and ran alongside the ark. David danced before the Lord all the way to Jerusalem. As the laughing, shouting parade arrived, Michal stared in disbelief from a window. There was her husband, the king, dancing in a simple linen garment with all the common people. Unbelievable. He looks ridiculous. Certainly not like a king. Down on the street, David continued to dance all the way to the beautiful tent he had set up. Everybody behind me, let's dance. Okay, keep on moving. Now, let's switch it up. 
Time for a breather. Let's put the Ark right here. One, two, three, down. David made more sacrifices to honor God. Then he stood before the people. The Ark has returned. God bless you. He is the one who rules over us all. He deserves our thanks for everything he's done. So let's keep celebrating. We've got some fresh bread and dates and raisin cakes for everyone. Though all of Jerusalem had turned out for the festivities, one person still refused to celebrate. When David returned home, Michal met him furious. You're the king of Israel, and you've really made yourself look good today, right? Dancing around in that thing? A linen apron. It's what the priests wear. But you're a king. You made a fool of yourself in front of all of your officials and even the servants. I did it to honor God. He made me ruler over his people. I can't even. I will celebrate to honor the Lord. You already said that. Oh, I'm not done. I will bring even less honor to myself if it will bring more honor to God. What is that in your beard? Raisins. <laughs> you want to do the electric slide? No. While Michelle cared more about appearances than anything else, David fixed his gaze on God because he knew nothing was more important than celebrating to thank God for all the amazing things he'd done. Man, wasn't that an awesome, awesome lesson about gratitude? Now, I know that you've heard this about gratitude, so I know that you have an attitude of gratitude, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But before we go, I want to give you an opportunity. For those who have not accepted the Lord Jesus, I want to give you an opportunity. And you can do it right now. It is as easy as A, B, C. And I'll show you. A. We have to admit that we have sinned, that we've missed the mark. We've missed God. And then B, we have to believe that Jesus Christ came. He lived and he died and was raised from the dead for us. And then we have to see, we have to confess him as Lord of our lives. And so we can do that right now. Just repeat after me. Say, dear God, I admit that I have missed the mark. I believe that Jesus Christ, he came and he lived and he died, but he was resurrected on my behalf. I confess that Jesus is Lord of my life. Thank you, Father for saving me in Jesus name. Amen. Woo! I'm talking about the angels are rejoicing right now because you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Go ahead, give yourselves a hand. Give yourselves a hand. Have an attitude of gratitude for Jesus and his saving grace. Now, for parents, if you have one of your ch you or your children have accepted the Lord I want you to, right now I want you to text to 94,000 and tell us all about your experience and I need you to go to our Facebook page go to the Facebook page and I want you to post some pictures and share some information about the great things that you and the children have done and I'm telling you it's gonna be dope Thank you so very much for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you next time. And remember, have an attitude of gratitude. I'll let your boy. Remember to review today's lesson video and download your activity guide in our Facebook group and on our webpage. And we want you to share what your children are learning and doing in our parent Facebook group. Mark your calendars. Every Sunday, we have amazing services for adults, for our students, 6th through 12th grade, and on demand for Faith Chapel kids, preschool through 5th grade. Every Thursday, we have Faith Chapel students small groups. Visit our Faith Chapel students website for details. Don't forget our fourth Sunday Faith Chapel kids small group Zoom Connect. 
our preschool and elementary times are shown and we look forward to seeing your kids as they get to see and talk with each other and their small group leaders. Have a great day.